Hey everybody, Christina here with One Creative Direction. How are we all doing? So I am going to do the next video in my series on mixing um, and sharing recipes. So if you didn't catch my other video, um, I've put one out so far and that was for my special base recipe. And then I released another video, I believe yesterday, um, using that particular recipe that I shared uh, on a painting. So those two are out and I'm working on loading a video right now for my uh, coasters using that special recipe as well. It was kind of a bonus, um, but had a lot of people asking about my coaster sets. And here's one right here. So this is a finished one. Um, haven't uh, done the top coat on the box yet, but everything else is finished. So a lot of people ask about that, so I'm putting that video out today. So watch for that one. So this one is going to be um, specifically on cell activators. So I'm going to make three. I'm going to make three cell activators using three different recipes, and I'll share those recipes. Actually, one of them I already have a video to, and I'll link that in the description. And the recipe for that is in the description of that video. And then I will share the other two are so simple. I don't think I'm going to need um, to put it in their description box, but I will do that. So we're going to get started on that. And I want to take a minute to ask you to please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel um, or like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, so you don't miss any videos. I have a lot of um, a lot of videos planned, and um, I've taken pretty much like a three month or so hiatus from um, from I guess doing art shows and such, and really just kind of concentrating on getting my art room rearranged, which I've I've done. I'm still working on like a, a good. Uh, camera angle for recording in each part of my my room and I'm still working on my main table and I'm converting that that space as well even though I've already rearranged my entire room um, so this will be the first time I bought a ring light so hopefully you guys have a good top view um, I've always wanted to like get a good camera view and um, hopefully this will do the trick when I'm doing mixing videos so hopefully the table doesn't shake too much and the camera doesn't shake too much. So I'm still working on there like a good spot to put it. So we'll get started with mixing. So I'm going to um, start with the first one and the easiest one. And like I said, I already have a video on how to mix this and how to use it. Um, so I'm gonna link that in the description box. And just to simplify everything, I'm always gonna use a scale when I'm showing you how to mix these. Um, it just makes it easier for everybody, especially if you're just starting out. It makes it a lot easier to understand how to mix. Um, obviously, when you get, you know, to the point where you have a lot of experience, sometimes, you know, folks don't have to um, measure as often. I'm a kind of a detail person, so I like to measure. Um, so, yeah. The other thing I wanted to point out is I, I kind of want to go over... Um, the term cell activator. So I kind of want to maybe put a little bit of information into this video as well to be to be a little bit more helpful, especially to beginners, because I think the term cell activator is used for other equations and methods outside of the bloom. Um, the, the word cell activator is really intended for um, for the bloom to use in the bloom as like the last layer on your on your painting um, and you blow it out um, but I do see a lot of folks referring to cell activator when they're talking about some sort of additive to the paint like a silicone or a coconut oil or whatever they're using to um, to generate those cells. So there's a lot of differences because a cell activator for the bloom recipe using these particular recipes is going to give you the lacing effect. 
okay? And when you use silicone or one of those other additives, you're actually getting cells. Um, so it, it is two different things. And then you always have to remember the aspect of anytime you add those oils to water base, you're gonna have extra steps of cleaning and prepping your canvas before you do a top coat or anything else with it because those oils will rise to the surface and they will create, you know, little pox and pits um, and become quite challenging for anyone who is putting a resin top coat or anything else on the paintings. So I just wanted to kind of touch upon that subject real quick before we get started and clarify that these particular recipes that I am sharing are specifically for like a bloom style uh, paint. So whether you're swiping that or whether you're, you know, that's your last layer and you're blowing it over the paint, um, that's really what these recipes are intended for. And I will, not in this particular video, this is strictly going to be the mixing, but in other, in other videos that will follow this, I will use each one of these cell activators in some sort of piece. Um, so you can see how well they work and decide which one that maybe you want to use, which one of these recipes. And none of these recipes are mine. These are three recipes that I have used and successfully used. Um, so you do have options. And I will put a disclaimer in here. None of these contain, contain Australian Floetrol. I see a lot of folks using Australian Floetrol. I have never used um, I've never used it. It's really not in my budget. I know it's somewhat pricey. Um, so yeah, so these were, these are all using products you can get here in the U S and you should be able to go to any, any store and pick these up. Okay. We're going to start with the first one. And I always use these tiny little bottles for my cell, cell activators. Um, so we're going to start with the first one. And this one is the one that I use probably the most because I do like to use black as my cell activator color. Um, and I do have this pre-mixed, so you're not gonna see me mix this up. That's in another video. And you can also catch it on Arissa Roo's channel. So she came up with this recipe, and I've been using this for quite some time now. I discovered it almost immediately after I started um, paint pouring, um, maybe about 10 or so months ago. So I've been using this since pretty much the beginning of my journey here. Um, and it's worked really, really well. And she um, basically explains in her video that it works best when you use Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Now I will tell you, I have four colors of this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. I have black, white, red, and blue. And I have tried it with the white, the red, and the blue with no success. I do not like the way that it functions and how it looks in any of those colors. Black works beautifully, absolutely beautifully. I've never had any issues with this. I have also successfully used the Modern Masters. Um, I'm not sure what the name of it, the color is. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. Okay. Maybe not so quick. So this one is semi-opaque, um, which is really unusual for a cell activator, but it's the Modern Masters Satin Finish, and it is the Black Pearl. And when I discovered that you can use this one as well as this one, um, I also tried, I believe, the White Pearl and one of the other Modern Masters, and they didn't work so well. So keep that in mind. But this one, it's metallic, and it works really well. Um, but I, I typically use this one because uh, you can't really see the metallic in it very well when you use it as a cell activator. Um, now, she also says that you can use, um, I believe... I could be quoting this wrong. I might have to go back and clarify it. I believe she says that you can use the golden carbon black of Amsterdam. I want to say it's either oxide black or another black, zinc black or something like that. Um, I can't remember, but I've never tried those two, so I cannot speak to those. 
So, I mean, obviously do your own testing. Um, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to test a lot of colors with cell activators. Um, so I, I stick usually stick with, with what works and when I have time, I'll do more testing. So with that said, we'll get started. So with this particular recipe from Marissa Roo, um, you take this mixture, which um, I will share the ingredients with you in case you're thinking about going over and checking out her channel or looking, um, or looking at the description box in this video and um, clicking on the link to the other video that I made that has the recipe in it. Um, it has golden gloss, soft gloss enamel. I don't know why I said enamel. Golden soft gloss. Um, which is the same soft gloss gel that I use in my, that base recipe, the black one that I have the video for. It uses Golden GAC 900. It uses Minwax Pre-Stain, Floetrol, and water. So pretty easy to, to get ingredients. Um, I didn't have any trouble getting any of those. You can get all those here locally in the US. Um, I'm sure probably Canada is fairly easy. Um, so yeah, so once you mix up your, and we'll just call it a, a, a cell activator, you know, pouring medium, we'll just call it the medium, cell activator medium. Once you mix that up, and I just, when I started using it, I just made a very large batch of it, and that's been probably eight or so months ago, and it's still good. Um, and you can generally mix it up in a bottle and you can generally use it for close to a week. Um, if, if I'm going to paint one night and I'm not going to paint for another four or five days, I want just a small amount. And then I'll just take that bottle. If there's a little bit left, I'll just add more and kind of refresh it. Um, if there's too many days in between when I use it. So I'm going to do this in grams. I always kind of do it in grams. Um, actually, I'm going to... We use the bottle I already have. I did some painting, I don't know, maybe four or five days ago. So I'm just going to use this one and we'll just add into it. So it kind of goes to what I just spoke to. And I'm not going to do a lot of painting tonight, so I'm just going to do a little bit. Um, so I have it on grams and it's a four to one ratio. So four parts of this cell activator medium to one part of the Artist Loft Flow acrylic paint. And so we're gonna just do, I'm gonna just do, probably just do 12, waiting for my scale to catch up with me. Doesn't seem like it's registering what I'm putting in here. That says six, that seems like a lot more than six. All right, we're gonna, I think we're gonna do, hello, it's not registering, there's seven. Come on. I think I'm just gonna do eight to two. So I, don't wanna, I don't wanna make a lot and then have to refresh it again when I paint again because I don't know when that will be. Okay, so I have eight, so I need two grams. One fourth of eight is two. All right, so I'm gonna tear that. I'm gonna drop in two grams of this, which isn't gonna be a lot. I'm gonna have to go slow here because the scale seems to be way behind. Come on, I need to get me a new scale. Okay, so we're at two. And I will tell you, I, don't be concerned if when you're making this that, um, that it seems thinner than the normal cell activator because it is and it, and it works really well with that thin consistency. So you just stick that in there, shake it up. Shake it up again before I use it, and we'll move on to the next one. These next two recipes are super simple. All right, the first one 
is using only two ingredients besides your paint. And to my knowledge, these work well with quite a few paints. Um, I've only done a few. Um, the one that I use the most is I use this um, Windsor & Newton Titanium White. I actually tried it with Amsterdam. I did, did this recipe one night and I mixed up Windsor & Newton and the Amsterdam Titanium White. And this one actually performed, I thought, better. The Amsterdam seemed to leave more of a cloudy look on it where this was nice, clear, and crisp like the black does for the other recipe. So that's what I'm gonna be using tonight is the Windsor and Newton. But by all means, please um, do, do some research, do some testing on, like if you have a favorite color that you like to do um, for a cell recipe, you know, mix up a small batch. That's the great thing about this is you, you can make just a tiny bit and do a test sample on a tile or something. Um, so, so keep that in mind. Let me find my notes. And I can't remember what, I think it's three to one or four to one as well. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, it's three parts flood. So this is Floetrol only. All right, you know, it looks similar to my other one, but it's not. This is only flood. And we're gonna do three parts. So again, I'm just gonna make a small, small batch because I don't I, I don't have big plans to make a lot of um, a lot of items with these, so I don't want to waste too much of my materials. So three to one, I'm gonna put maybe nine in here. If it ever catches up, doesn't seem like it wants to register, and it turns off. I hate it. <laughs> I need a new scale really bad. Maybe I should just try replacing the battery to see if that helps. I've had it for over a year, and I've never replaced the battery. All right, now it seems to be catching up. All right, we're going to put nine. All right, so there's nine. Set that aside, tear that out, and then I'm going to add one part of paint. So nine divided by three is three. So we're going to. Oh, mm. We're going to make sure there's no crusties here. It looks like there might be. I don't want no chunks in here. All right, make sure my scale's working. Come on, there we go. We're going to put three. It shut off again. This is really annoying. Come on. All right, it says three. All right. And then, typically, I would add, I would make a little bit more than this, and I would add a couple of drops of this. But this is the um, Minwax Pre Stain that other recipes call for in the same pre-stain that's in the Arisa Rue recipe. And we're just gonna add a couple of drops to it. And I, I kind of mess with this a little bit. It comes out of here way faster than I want it to. Um, but if I do a sample and it doesn't seem to work as well, add another drop. Um, you definitely don't want to overpower it with this. You only need a tiny little bit. Um, so that's why I keep it in that little dropper uh, or that little bottle. I used to have it in a dropper that I had gotten some um, face serum in and it seemed to like eat the dropper ball. Oh, I'm very sorry. I want to apologize. My table was shaking like crazy. Um, it, it seemed to like eat the, you know, the there's like a rubber thing at the top where you squeeze the dropper. It seemed to like eat that and the pre-stain got really hard in there. And then eventually everything in the bottle got super hard. Now, before I move on, I'm gonna mark this. I always mark my bottles so I don't forget what's in here. <clears throat> then of course, when I do the follow-up videos, I wanna make sure that I'm given the right information. So we're gonna put Windsor and Newton White CA. So 
blood and pretty stain. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and mark this one. So this third recipe is gonna be straight US Floetrol and paint. And I'm gonna use I don't think I've tried this one before, but it typically works really well with Amsterdam paints. Um, I can't remember what else I've tried it with. I believe uh, Golden's Car Carbon Black it worked well with. I haven't tried it with that for a while since I have the Arisa Rue recipe that works beautifully. Um, so, so I'm gonna put CA. Okay. Then I'm gonna use uh, this purple uh, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I am so blind without these reading glasses. It's just not even funny. This is ultramarine violet. You can probably read it better than me in the camera. Um, this is one of my favorite Amsterdam colors overall. I just, I love this color. All right. So we're going to tear that. And this recipe, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember how many different um, parts that I've tried this with. Um, typically six, six to one has worked. Um, if you use a particular uh, paint and it doesn't work with six to one, you know, try seven to one, uh, try eight to one. I've seen videos of folks using it as high as 10 to one. I personally don't think it's necessary to um, to try it with 10 to 1 um, unless you get a particular paint that may be a little bit more difficult. Um, and I've also seen, I'm trying to remember who it was. I was, I'm thinking it was Garrick Brown. He had a recipe that was similar to what I just showed you with this white. He, I believe, was using it with a, an Amsterdam paint, um, but he was using... I believe four to one with the pre-stain, but he, for some reason, he was adding a squirt of GAC 800 to it. And I'll both, we'll tell you, I tried that a long time ago. I didn't care for it. You take the GAC 800 out and it, I feel that it works much better. But again, that's a, that's another option if you want to try that. Um, I just don't care for the, the appearance of it with the particular colors that I was trying it with. Um, so yeah, so again, mess with it, see what works for you. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do this with six to one. So I'm going to put in, oh, let's see, six, we'll do, we'll do 12. Hey, look at that. My scale's working. All right. And you have to go slow because it takes forever for it to catch up. Okay, so there's 12. Oh, let's snap in there. And we're going to put two. All right. If I can get this open. All right. Big old dried chunk right there. We're going to take that off. So we don't get it in our paints. All right, let's do two here. Like I said, it's the first time I'm gonna be using this as a cell activator. So hopefully it works really well. Okay, there's two. We'll take our lid. And again, we're gonna shake it up. Now we shake them really, really well. And I've not tried this with any other brand except Amsterdam, but again, if you've got a good quality paint, give it a try. Um, I'm guessing, um, in my experience, I believe the Golden are a touch better quality than Amsterdam. Um, so I'm guessing that it, this recipe here would also work with Golden. Um, also the recipe I just gave you with the pre-stain in the flood guessing that would also work with golden colors. I just don't have a lot of them other than golden fluids. And I've not done any um, 
any experimenting with using the golden fluids um, and mixing up a cell activator with it. So, so yeah, those are the three. Uh, again, I will put some information down in the description box and link the video for this Arisa Roux recipe. And um, I appreciate any feedback you have. Give them a try. Let me know which, you know, what kind of results you get. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, you need any help, you know, figuring out, you know, how to adjust um, if you give it a whirl. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along, everybody. And please uh, be watching for the videos where I create artwork with these three cell activators. So you can kind of get an idea of what your finished product's going to look like. Uh, keep in mind, you know, obviously if you're messing around with other colors, then it may look a little bit different than mine. So keep that in mind. But I very much appreciate everybody that has continued to watch my channel. Um, it's grown quite a bit in the last two months, and I appreciate that. Um, every time you guys comment or hit that thumbs up button, it does help the algorithm and get more people to my channel. So please continue to do that if you've been awesome in doing that already. And if you haven't, please consider it. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.